subject of two very different documentaries now. Monday on this broadcast, we talked with the producer of a documentary called Walmart, The High Cost of Low Price, yeah, cool. the film highly critical of Walmart. Now, another film called Why Walmart Works and Why That Drives Some People Crazy, set for release. This, uh, this documentary argues Walmart is transforming our nation's economy in a positive way and helping Americans. So many people have so many negative things to say about, but what about the positive things? What about saving that mother that's trying to, you know, get back everything that she's lost? Those are the people that they look out for. Joining me now, the director of why Walmart works, Ron Galloway. Ron, good to have you here. Hey, Luke. Walmart's got to be excited. One, one fell steps up to defend the world's largest retailer. If they're excited, they're not showing it because they've announced publicly through the AP that they're not carrying my film. Now, they cooperated with me in a limited sense and giving me access to the stores, but that's where my cooperation with them stopped. Now, I understand uh, that you're an entrepreneur. You're a man who's taken by the logistics side of Walmart, and we're not going to get into logistics here oh, if you don't please. mind. We'll stipulate that Walmart is brilliant okay. in its uh, uh, operations, its logistical operations, certainly. But at the same time, you're defending a company. You just heard George Miller. I just heard that report, and occasionally, lately, I feel like I'm out here defending the indefensible. Walmart, on a logistics level, works great. At the store level, they work great. Executive level in the middle, it's almost like watching Inspector Clouseau sometimes. I'm, I'm stuck in the, in the awkward position of defending a corporation at a time when a lot of strange things seem to be happening in that corporation. Strange things, and here is the third largest export market for China. That, that, they're, they're sucking cheap imports into this country, driving businesses, in, and I don't... And yeah, I don't no, you're right. By the way, I want to say hi to the Walmart war room. Ron, wave into the camera. Wave, wave into the camera. The Walmart war room is here to protect the institution. That's understandable. We just want to be sure. The China issue high. is interesting on, on a couple of fronts. One, it's, it's obviously good for the American consumer. They get lower prices. It's good for the Chinese worker who maybe comes in from the country earning $40 a month and how about a gets their pay raise to 120 Now, what you're about to say, the American worker, there's been no solution for them because of these Chinese imports. And because of those imports, because of a trade policy that is absolutely mindless on the part of this country, uh, Walmart, other institutions uh, exploiting it, uh, I'm, I'm glad to hear you say you, you have some qualms here. Well, I mean, I, the, the truth lies somewhere in the middle. I think Walmart recognized early on, earlier than most on, the advantages of doing business with China, but it has severe replications for some here at home. However, it does drive lower prices to, to consumers. And uh, that uh, it does indeed. And, and wages, we can get into that the next time. Okay, Ron Galloway, good luck with your documentary. We thank you for being here. We'll thank talk you, more, I'm sure, about this as you defend uh, uh, <laughs> this little company called Walmart. Thank, thank you, you, Ron Galloway. Coming up next, the results of our poll tonight. Please stay with us.